Hoarders are a lot like drug addicts. You can't cure them. You can only prevent relapses, says Dr. Randall Lockwood, ASPCA Senior Vice President. Hoarding is a complex issue with effects that compromise animal welfare, mental health, and public safety. The characteristics of an animal hoarder are more than the typical number of pets, unable to provide minimal standards of care for all animals, denial of the inability to provide care in their home is deteriorated. It's estimated that there are around 2,000 new cases every year in the United States, with a quarter million animals victimized. Animal species collected range from cats and dogs to even farm animals. Early research indicates that obsessive compulsive disorders are the reasoning for animal hoarding. However, new research studies states that attachment and personality disorders, paranoia, delusional thinking, depression, and anxiety are the reason. It may not be accurate in every hoarding case. Most animal hoarders see themselves as rescuers who save animals from the street, while others begin collecting after a traumatic experience. Majority of cases, hoarders appear to be intelligent and claim that any home is better than dying on the streets. Hoarders have the ability to acquire sympathy and manipulate others into thinking they have everything under control. They are blind to the extreme suffering and minimal care that they are inflicting. They believe that they are truly helping their animals. According to Dr. Lockwood, being kept by an animal hoarder is a slow kind of death for an animal. Actually, it can be a fate worse than death. Criminal prosecution of animal hoarding may not be the most effective method. It can be a very challenging process. Most cases are difficult to successfully prosecute and after the legal proceeding closes, the hoarder is most likely to resume collecting unless closely monitored and prohibited from having any animals. Prosecution isn't always the answer. Hoarders are often emotionally troubled rather than criminally inclined. In some cases, judges require counseling. It is clear that the prosecution very seldom alters the behavior. The key is that community agencies need to work together to prevent animal hoarders from harming large amounts of animals. Social services agencies must collaborate with animal shelters and law enforcement to intervene to save the animals and then follow up with years of monitoring to prevent a reoccurrence. The general public needs to be educated to realize that the hoarder is not just a nice little old lady who loves too much, says Dr. Lafarge, but someone who needs love.